This demo walks through the setup and configuration of intrusion prevention on the XG firewall. Let's take a look at an example scenario where an IPS policy may be required. In this scenario, an administrator has been tasked with protecting a company network against exploits, including DNS exploit techniques. Let's take a look at how to do this on the XG firewall. We'll start off by logging into the XG firewall. From there, we'll click Intrusion Prevention, and then we'll navigate to IPS Policies. Under this tab, you'll see the default and pre-configured IPS policies. We'll go ahead and click Add to create a new IPS policy. Here, we'll enter our preferred name for the policy. We'll type in a brief description, and we'll choose a template to clone the policy rules to. As you'll see here, all the content of the LAN to WAN policy will also be carried over into the sample policy. Now we'll click Save. Upon clicking Save, our configuration is now available as a template. If we want to edit or fine-tune the policy, we'll simply click Edit towards the right of the policy name. After clicking Edit, we can see the content of the policy. Here we should note that the sample policy has been configured using the LAN to WAN baseline policy. If we don't want to use all these policies, we can also edit or delete them. We can also add additional policies by searching for them using the search tool. Let's add another rule for the policy. Let's add a DNS rule. We're going to choose DNS as the category, and then we'll choose the content for this category, and we'll select an action. Then we'll click Save. And upon saving, the created rule is now a part of this IPS policy. Note that the rules within a policy can be moved up and down in order to set precedence. Now let's apply this IPS policy onto a firewall rule. We're going to do this by going to Firewall on the menu, and then we'll click on an existing firewall rule that we want to apply the IPS policy to. Under Intrusion Prevention, we're going to select the newly created IPS policy. And after reviewing the remaining configuration, we're going to click Save. The IPS policy has now been applied to the firewall rule. In this demonstration, we created a new IPS policy, we added an additional rule to the IPS policy, and then we enabled that IPS policy within an existing firewall rule.